IPOP and police clash in Cross River as six officers drop dead on spot. NBC claims gunmen suspected to be members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has allegedly attacked two police checkpoints in Cross River State, killing at least seven security personnel. The seven people. Paradise News gathered were comprised of six police officers and one soldiers and were attacked on Wednesday morning, March 12, 2021, in Obubra, local government area of the state. They cutted away all the arms of the security personnel after killing them. Sources said the gunmen were changing IPOP songs as they attacked the two police checkpoints at Oyadama and Ofatura, all in Obubra, local government area of Cross River State. The people came in a vehicle in the morning, Wednesday, and were chanting IPOP songs. They came from Unko side in Yako, local government area, and attacked the checkpoint at Oyadama and killed four police officers before heading to Ofatura to kill another two police officers. They also shot one soldier in the hand in one of the checkpoints. He later died. They cutted away all the arms belonging to the security personnel. Solomon Akama, an eyewitness to Paradise News. The Cross River State Police Command has condemned the unfortunate attack on eight men that were killed at the two checkpoints. However, a press release with reference number signed by DSP Irene Ubu, Police Public Relations Officer, Cross River State on Wednesday said only policemen died and not. The Cross River State Command regrets and condemned the unfortunate attack on policemen by unknown gunmen at two checkpoints in Obubra, local government, early hours of today, Wednesday 3rd March 2021. The command hereby refute the trending news making the rounds in some quarters that six policemen were killed in the said attack. This press statement is hereby issued to clear the air that two policemen lost their lives, one injured and responding to treatment. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police CP SK Akonde calls for calm while frantic effort is ongoing to get to the root of this incident. The command enjoined residents and well meaningful cross reverence to view security as a collective venture by sharing genuine information with the police. We are resolute to making Cross River State peaceful for all and confront this security monster on the state. Headlong please. The statement read in full. Meanwhile, a source from the Nigerian army said an army officer was killed as they confronted the gunmen. When the incident occurred, some soldiers were sent from the 245 Race Battalion, Ikom, to arrest the situation. On getting there, the gunmen seeing the soldiers abandoned the vehicle and ran into the forest. On the verge of exchanging bullets, one soldier was shot who later died, the source said. This is the second time a police checkpoint has been attacked in Cross River State in less than one week. The first was the killing of four police officers at MCC Idundu Road by good luck a Billy Jonathan bypass in Calabar Municipal Local Government Area on Thursday morning, February 25, 2021, at about 1 o'clock a.m. Thank you for listening to this news. See, what if, even if these people were singing 
Biafran songs or hip-hop song, does it mean that they are hip-hop members? Even if these people were seen singing hip-hop songs, why carrying out attack? Does it mean that truly they are hip-hop members? And when and how have you ever seen hip-hop holding arms in public? Um, this is one thing that we are getting wrong in Nigeria. We don't believe that hoodlums can get themselves disguised to be to be to be hip-hop members and use their name to commit crime. I know Mazinam the Kano and the conditions he has given to every hip-hop members and they themselves know the rules and regulations, the do and don't of the group. They don't dare go about with arms or attack people necessarily. This is a freedom fighting group. They don't arm or set police station ablaze. They don't kill police officers. The people that attacked these police officers and killed them in Cross River are the people the police officers have done business with. Because, you see, I said it before, that any police station that is attacked means that the police knows about that attack. Yes. The police knows about that attack. I'm telling you, police people are part and parcel of these hoodlums. They are members of these hoodlums. They are members of these hoodlums. So they cannot in any way say they don't know any attack that is carried out in their stations. They plan with them. These hoodlums that you see invading police stations, cutting away arms and ammunition, do you think that they just come they, they, don't, they, 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 don't, they, they just invade into the station. Can't you see how straight and smooth their operation used to be? Can't you see? Don't you know that someone inside is giving them information on how to invade easily and cut away with these armories? Can't you see that the moment they gain entrance, they go straight to where the armories are? without asking questions or challenging any officer. So, um, my dear viewers, based on this issue, what is your take? Deem it free to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.